Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this new Makita set that I just got. This is the 36 volt LXT brushless couple shaft power head kit with string trimmer attachment. Basically a fancy way of saying a weed whacker. <laughs> uh, battery operated, takes two, uh, two 18 volt batteries. Then over here, I've got the paddle sweep couple shaft attachment. So this is for getting gravel out of grass, is what I bought it for. Uh, I'm sure you could probably use it for some other stuff, but that's what I got it for. So in this video, I'm just gonna be doing an unboxing of these. We're gonna put them together and show you what it's all about. And then I'm gonna plug them in, let them charge for a while, uh, and then I'll be using them. I'll make a separate video showing how the thing actually works. But right now I just wanna show you what's in them, and like kinda check them out, look over them a little bit, check out the features. All right, so I'm gonna start with the trimmer head and the string attachment. So as you can see here, there's the one piece that you can mount different attachments to. Uh, it comes with the string trimmer or weed whacker. Then the paddle sweep attaches right in there. Now here are some of the other options you can get for it. So it comes with the string trimmer. You can get like a blade, like a hedge trimmer. Uh, this looks like a spinny blade, like an edger. Uh, there's a little saw, like a chainsaw on a pole. And then that just looks like an extender, I think. Uh, and there might even be some more attachments. This is just the ones that are on the box. Now this is not cheap. I got this entire set for $838. You can buy just the string trimmer, the head, uh, this kit by itself. This is $479. I'll put a link down in the description for this so you can check it out for yourself. If you do make a purchase by using my link, you can help support this channel. Uh, I do get a small commission by any sales made through my Amazon links. And if you're interested in more tools, I've got a playlist of all my tool recommendations and review videos. I'll put that link down in the video description. I also have a page on my website full of all my favorite tools with links. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link down there. It's also borsalinohomeservices.com. All right, I'm gonna start with the string trimmer and the power head first. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm assuming is the string trimmer, doesn't come assembled. So we'll have to look into that. Here is the power head itself. That is very heavy with the two batteries attached to it. Looks like the guard for the string trimmer. Paperwork, a humongous battery charger, and a bag full of goodies. What's in here? All right, oh, there's the weed whacker head. Ah, oh, there's a strap. I was hoping there was a strap because this thing's really heavy. So this will go over your shoulder. A handle, some safety glasses, and looks like tools. And that's it. That's all that comes in that box. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the batteries off. So to take the Makita batteries off of any tool, you push that thing and you slide them off. So I'm gonna throw these on the charger while I'm getting the thing all set up. So we got some juice, we can play with it. All right, I just want to show you the charger here. So it looks like it has some like error lights and stuff that will light up to tell you, um, you know, if you need to pay attention to anything. Uh, right now it's on red. It'll turn green when it's charged. And it also has a USB port on the front so you can charge a phone or something else. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's look at this paperwork really quick. Oh, we've got a limited warranty. We've got a booklet for the charger and a booklet for the head and a booklet for the trimmer. And we've got this poster, 270 tools you can use with these batteries. So I already own the drills, I own a circular saw, and I own a Sawzall, and I'm always looking to expand my Makita tool set. So that's why I went with Makita, because I already have Makita batteries. So these can be used in my other tools. Um, so yeah, I'm a Makita guy. All right, I'm gonna start with the power head. Let's see what it says here. All right, so it says that there's like a system built into this so that if you overload it, it will automatically shut it off so you can't like burn out the motor or do damage to the equipment, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a little indicator on here that tells you if it's overloaded. So this one right here, if it's blinking on the rabbit, that means it's overloaded. So there's main power button. You have to turn this thing on and off before you'll be able to use it so you can't accidentally turn it on. And then this button right here is reverse, so you can reverse which direction the paddles are spinning. Here's our little clip to mount the strap to. Looks like a quick connect adapter here. 
for attaching the different tools. This is probably a little push pin to like it pop out. I'm assuming with most tools, one of these you have to push and the other one's a trigger. So we'll try that out in a second. And then just click, there's a guard for the batteries so you can't damage them when you set it down. All right, these are the tools they sent. Uh, this wrench for the trimmer head and just an Allen wrench. That's all you need to put this together. All right, I'm gonna mount the handle now. All right, so this little piece of black, this is like uh, rubber material. And there's these two little knobs sticking out of it. I'll show you a little better up here. So this thing right here, and then the brackets have a little hole in them. So they get mounted like that. Well, you know what I mean? They get mounted with the hole over that little bump and they have nuts welded to the back side of them. So that's gonna go down and we're gonna screw right into that. So according to the picture, uh, it does matter which way this goes. There's a little brass screw right here. I don't know what that's for yet, but that goes uh, facing out to the front. Set that on like that. And then these are gonna drop in there like that. Boom. And then that whole assembly all gets screwed in all together. Of course they made it do that. Okay, that's a downside right there. <laughs> you have to do your turn and then it hits so you can't spin that thing all the way around. That's super annoying. They should have just sent a really smaller Allen wrench or something a little bit differently. That's very frustrating. Yeah, you can't really get them started with the long side. You can kind of get them like threaded a little bit and you can't use your fingers because they're set down inside here. So this is a little tedious little job here. Okay, so the handle is actually set on a little bit of an angle. So you can get the Allen wrench the long way and kind of like set it in and turn it. It's a little bit easier than doing it the other way. I can get it at least tight now that I've got them started. All right, that's all set. There's supposed to be another part that attaches that I don't have. So it looks like I have a piece that's missing. It's supposed to be like a guard that comes out of here. I don't know what it's for. It's this piece right here that's missing, that little handle. Yeah, I just double checked the box and all the packaging. It's not there. So I don't know, I guess I'm missing a piece. That's not a good thing. So that little part that was missing uh, in the instructions here, it says country specific in parentheses. So I guess not this country specific. All right, even though I'm not gonna use this, I'm just gonna set it up so it's set up. So I've got these two pieces here. There's already screws in this. Uh, it's kind of weird that they're just in there, but they're just dangling. All right, so now I'm gonna mount the guard. There's two screw holes right here. And then there's these two screws that are dangling. They're already mounted on it. Uh, this thing mounts this direction like this. Get them started right here. So luckily these ones I can do by hand, get them in most of the way. And then I'm assuming it's that same Allen wrench. Okay, got those finger tight. So I'm gonna tighten them down with the Allen wrench now. Okay. All right, so now I gotta take this thing off, but it's spinning, so. Okay, so there's a little hole in the backside here and you can actually stick the Allen wrench in and then that, when that spins around, that finds a spot and that makes it so that you can uh, get this thing off or else it'll just spin freely. So while holding the Allen wrench in, keeping that in place, then we're gonna loosen up this guy. And it looks like it's reverse thread. Okay, so it's reverse thread, which means righty loosey, lefty tidy. All right, now I'm just gonna twist this thing on. So again, it's reverse thread. So it'll go backwards of what feels normal. So you gotta go lefty to tighten it. And then I guess we just do this by hand. I'm gonna hold that and tighten it until it feels pretty tight. I'm not gonna over tighten it, just pretty tight. And that will be it for the string trimmer. Now to attach it, Looks like we just push that thing on like this. Auto locks and then there's a lever like that. And that's it. That's how that works right there. Let me throw the batteries in, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so turn it on like this. 
and it's uh, you can see the three lights lit up. That's what speed it's on, and you can actually change it from slow, medium to fast. So I'm gonna try it on the fast speed first. Oh yeah. Um, this is the slow speed. Cool, medium. It's pretty good. And then reverse, which you wouldn't want to do for this, but like that, boom. Reverse it back again. Perfect. Hold the power button, turn it off. And we will remove this. Like that. I'm going to put this cover back on it to keep this from getting dirty. So save that. Also save the nut in case you have another attachment you want to use for this. I don't know. All right, I'm going to pull the batteries back out and put them on the charger while I'm getting the paddle sweep set up. Oh yeah, let's throw this thing on while we're right here. This is super simple. It's just a clip it goes on like that. And it also has another clip so you can take it off fast if you just want to like pull it off real quick and boom shoulder strap that's really nice adjustable length sweet all right time for this bad boy so it has a sweeping width of 23 and a quarter inches and it is 15.8 pounds all right right here i just noticed there's a piece of metal sticking out so make sure you don't lose that it's a little torx bit all right, so there's the pull for that one. There's the cover, I think it's huge. And the broom. Uh, there's another piece of plastic just thrown in there. And then the booklet, that's all that's in here. All right, let's pull that out of the plastic. Now the broom has a piece of cardboard in here. I'm not sure why. And there's where that's gonna mount there. Got to figure out which way this mounts. All right, first thing it says to do is remove the end caps. Again, I'm going to keep them so that I can keep the end clean when it comes apart. Ooh, that pipe kind of slides around in there. Oh, wow. That whole thing will come right out, so be careful. And then based on the way that that one is, the arrow goes up to the head and the bottom side goes in here and that makes sense because there's a little clip on here so that can't slide out the other way so that would go in this end another indicator of which way this goes is there's uh one of these little push pin things up here and there's not on the other side there's a hole that push pin has to be at the top but the arrow also goes to the top we have to remove this clip here and we're going to pull that off and that exposes this screw here, which is actually what's going to hold it to the pole. All right, so now that that's there, we're going to slide this in like that. And we're going to need to get that lined up with that hole right there. Perfect. All right, so now that that's attached, next thing we're supposed to do is slide this on. So the way the picture in the book has it, this is the bottom. So we are going to slide this on so that it's on the top like that. Okay, so before the protector on, we've got this little piece of plastic that came with it. That just slides on. Doesn't look like, it looks like this, it's kind of uh, symmetrical. So you just put it on like that. And that's basically keeps the guard away from the bristles. Now it's time to put the guard on. And there's this little thing here and there's a slot in the guard. So you just got to line that up. It is pretty hard to get it on. And I'm just gonna slide it on the rest of the way and it will butt right up to that plastic piece. We also have to tighten these down and that helps keep the shaft in place. And that's that screw that I already tightened. The last thing will be to tighten these screws. So what's gonna be difficult is keeping this straight with the blades. So I'm gonna do my best eyeballing it. I'm going to throw the paddle on and just check it. So you can spin it a little bit on there, even though it's, uh, even when it's really tight and you can access this once the paddle's on. 
so I will be able to tweak it pretty easily. So not a big deal. All right, throw this pin back in. And I think we're ready to go. All right, so I got that piece. I got this piece. I'm gonna put that on like this. And then lock the lever. Holy cow, this thing is really, really heavy. So this thing is super heavy. I can barely lift that off the ground. Uh, I wish that that wasn't quite as long because it's top heavy. I feel like I have to grab it like down here. Um, anyway, let's see what happens. Power it on. I'm gonna go, I'm on the medium setting. Oh, I'm gonna reverse it. Okay, I guess I gotta go on the high setting. Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. All right, here we go. just wants to push me. Let's try it in reverse. All right, so I just did that section. As you can see, it worked pretty good. It's super wet here, so it made it kind of muddy, but, uh, and then right there's the line where I stopped. It's very visible. And that's what it threw out. All that gravel, unfortunately, it throws out a lot of the uh, grass and stuff too, so I'll probably have to rake a little bit to get the grass out, but it got all the stuff out of the grass, which is the part that I was most concerned about. All right, so that's it for now. I am going to give this thing a shot, see if I can get a hang of it, and then I'll make a video explaining how it works more uh, once I have time to actually play with it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below. You can buy one of these, again, down Amazon link in the description. Catch you on the next video.